Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here and welcome back to another video. Now today, we are racing around the Autodromo after we did a little qualifying guide on Monday. Now I thought my time was very decent, however, I seem to have jumped into a lobby full of absolutely mentally quick players here. Uh, the guy in first, um, just a 154, I don't even know how you get into the 154 to be honest, so to be over a second quicker than what I did, just unbelievable. No idea how I did. And then I saw this message here. Oh my god! Wow! Yeah. <laughs> so, this guy is a GT Sport World Finalist, apparently. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure he is. Pretty sure I've seen his name without. Probably the guy first as well. Um, <laughs> they've probably both been there, but... This is a lot of pressure, because I've out-qualified him unbelievably. I don't know how. Maybe he's just not taking it too seriously, but... We're ahead of him. We are ahead of him, officially. So, I will take it. I have out-qualified a GT Sport World Finalist, alright? I will take I don't care what you say. Statistically, and on <laughs> on this grid, I'm ahead of him. So, don't care what you say. I've done it. I've made it, boys. You might as well just GG, RIP, game's over. There's no point playing anymore. We've done it. But, can we go one step further? And can we actually beat him? Now, he's starting, uh, you know, four or five positions behind me at the moment. Um, so I do have an advantage, but again, not my fault. I have qualified him. It's my right I get to start up here. So we're going to have to see what we can do in this lobby of extremely quick racing drivers. All these guys in here are very, very quick. You have to be really skilled to do anything against these guys, to be honest. And you'll, you'll see throughout this video, um, this is going to be the whole four laps unedited just to see. Uh, as these guys get squeezed out wide there, and we take the opportunity to go up on the inside and make ourselves go into P8. Um, as I was saying, you'll see the slightest mistake will really cost you. And I'm talking about a tenth or two, really will. Uh, looking for a move on the inside here then, uh, as the Super calls that guy to go a little bit wide. Um, but he just gets a little bit more traction there, and he can power out, and he is away. And we'll have to make sure we we stick on the back of him. But yeah, any sort of mistake whatsoever. As you see there, I've just gone a little bit uh, too wide there. And look, they're just off. It's just unbelievable now. Uh, to the trained eye, it looks like I've not really done anything wrong there, uh, but it just <laughs> his car's just gone. It's just it's unbelievable, really. But this is the quality of racing drivers in here. They really are some of the best on this game, uh, and it was a real privilege to race against some of these guys. But um, yeah, it was just to be honest with you, it's just a good race. So just there, just go an inch wide. This guy's going to look for a move on the inside there, but he just gives me a little bit of a nudge up the hill. So thankfully, um, we don't lose the position. So. Sit rep, one and a half laps in then. Um, we are, what's well, it, half a lap in. Uh, we're still in P8 then. There's no sign of the world finest yet uh, in the top 10, so we are still ahead of him. <laughs> we're not even one lap in, and I'm still counting down the laps already, praying that we beat it. Um, we're going to try our very best uh, to stick to these guys ahead. Now, I've made one or two little errors on this uh, on this lap. Include this one here, just went a little bit wide. You want to be hitting the inside of the curve a little bit more there. Uh, and the guy behind me, the Spaniard, uh, he's really starting to put pressure on me here, as he's very, very quick, so we're going to have to do our utmost to make sure that we uh, don't get overtaken by him. Uh, first corner here then, taking that quite well, we've just got a little bit wide there, cost us time, and he hits in the back of us again, um, just to show you how fast he is, and he's taken that correctly. Uh, I went wide and he was straight off the back of me, um, straight away, so again, goes to show just how quick uh, these guys are. Take this corner really nicely here, uh, keep it in third gear, just for that bit more traction. A little bit slide in the, out the outside there because it just went on the curb, uh, caused the rear end to get a little bit wild. But nothing we can't uh, manage and control as we are really trying to get on the back of these guys again. Then uh, see one of them go just ever slightly wide here. Uh, I'm just really conscious uh, of a guy behind me, as you can see actually. Um, I think one of the Germans ahead has, has got himself a penalty, which um, is quite interesting because it will be interesting to see how harsh. Uh, the penalty system is on this track. I haven't seen anyone actually serve one yet. Uh, I went a little bit cautious through that section there. Uh, and again, it's just caused the guy behind me to be really behind me now. Well, he already was, but he's got really, really close now. So is he going to go for some sort of move going into this amazing corner here? He looks for a move on the inside. Uh, it just about gets it done, but he does notice me. And we see someone's out, uh, been taken out there. Um, I think it's a guy from, I think it's, is it Sweden? Or is it, is it Switzerland? I think it's Switzerland, that one. I'm not sure. Uh, and then we get a move done on the German here. So even though we lost a position there, we end up actually gaining two positions out of that little incident. So 
Um, managing to keep it on the track and not get too angry with a guy who uh, overtaken us. Even though it was a little bit harsh, um, he got the move done. But now we're up to P7. So again, giving ourselves a bit more of a gap to that guy behind us. My main objective, <laughs> I didn't really care. My main objective, I didn't care about anything else. I just wanted to beat that guy. Because that is something I could put down on the old Gran Turismo CV there. That would be a world finalist. I, listen, I'm sure if he started next to me, he'd absolutely batter me. But for this race, that's not the point. <laughs> for this race, I'm ahead of him. And that's how we've got to keep it, basically. That is what the objective of this race is. Taking that corner a lot better there. Um, as you can see there, managed to get the power down a lot earlier. Uh, it was just overall uh, just better, to be honest with you. This was my first time doing this race, by the way, after doing my qualifying. So... Um, a little bit cautious, um, the car always feels a little bit different uh, in these races. There's a German up ahead there, serving his penalty. Uh, the Spaniard has got the move past. We're going to look for a move on the inside, can't quite do it. So we're going to have to drag ourselves out wide here. Can we get the move done around the outside? We're going to be fighting all the way up the hill there, but I think we're just about to get it done side by side, going into the next corner, which is a left-hander, and we've got the move done. That was brilliant. Fighting around the outside, nice and clean gave each other both plenty of space and I managed to get the move done thankfully. Didn't think it was going to happen um, at one point during the inside of one of those corners uh, but we just managed to get it done and we're going to have to make sure we stick to this guy in fifth place then the Spaniard so we get the slipstream so the German does not get a chance to overtake us. So um, three and a half laps in then just one and a half laps left to go. So the German looks for a move on the inside there but I block it off not having any of that. I want this position. We are in P6, we're 8 seconds behind first, which is not too bad considering how quick this guy is. And um, we started all the way back in P9, I believe. Situation is then, we've currently gained 3 positions, um, not really made any mistakes, just a solid drive so far. Uh, and that's exactly what you need in these kind of races. No silly mistakes, um, just the odd one here or there. Uh, it's cost me a few temps and... Honestly, it really can cost you a position in races like this, so, you know, an easy mistake. That's better taking that corner. You see how I tuck the inside of that kerb a lot more? That's how you really want to take it, and it's a nice, smooth exit as we begin the last lap then of this race. So, still no sign of that world finalist. He looks like he may be beaten by the guy from the Isle of Wight called Basic Ollie of all names. <laughs> it looks like we may just have him here. Who knows? Let's see what happens on this final lap. So, we're going to be following this guy very closely. You just want to watch what he does and watch what I do. We're very, very similar in what we do. He just touches the grass there on the, on the left, causing him a few issues. I'm just going to make sure that's sticking his slipstream there, uh, as I have got the German and the, the Brit uh, chasing me down as well. Just outbreak him ever so slightly here. So we really are the first sector here then. Um, we managed to really catch up with him here. But this middle sector, when you go through this like S section, um, I just outbreak myself slightly there, uh, and I just lose my tenth or two. Just look at that. I'm literally breaking what five meters, or even a couple meters later than what he did, and it just cost me um, a few tenths. But you can visibly see um, what difference it makes, which is just ridiculous in a race like this. Uh, such a simple mistake can cost you so much. But we are still on the back of him. We've got the slipstream all the way down the main straight, going through this amazing corner once more. I really do love this. You can tell it's not a real circuit because there's no way. <laughs> I don't think there's a chance in hell you'd see that in real life. But my God, you'd love to, wouldn't you? What a what a fantastic corner. I don't know what it's officially called. I know some people call it Big Banky Boy, uh, <laughs> but I, I haven't got a name for it. I really haven't. Just it's just a brilliant corner. But um, we can just see. So if you look at the positions, then in P8 you can see the world finest. Then he is in P8, just two positions behind us. Um, I'm kind of scared to look back because the Brit is only half a second behind. But we've only got one corner to navigate after this. If we take this well, surely we have got this then. Uh, we've managed to get through there, no issues at all. And as we head for the finish line, we have managed to beat a GT Sport World Finalist. Get in there. That is what I love to see. There he is, P8. We, <laughs> we've beaten by less than a second, all right? And he gained, what? He was, what, 14? So he's gained a good six positions. I managed to gain three. I think early on getting those positions was vital. If I didn't get him, uh, there wouldn't be a chance I would have beaten that guy, essentially, because he's just so, so quick. But um, there you have it, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a lot of fun for me. Uh, if you want to see more, um, just please like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Take care. Ta-da.